Well, I was uh, involved a lot in the the first stage when it went to Parliament. But basically, this bill is regulating a procedure that is currently going on and is unregulated. And therein lies the danger and the need for uh, regulation. And basically, what three issues that need to be regulated is one, there is the assisted uh, reproduction, which is basically helping uh, the parents to get a baby. And there are many of them. You can have uh, artificial insemination, which is basically introducing the, uh, the sperms into the woman and they get pregnant. Or you can get in vitro, where you harvest the eggs and mix it with the sperms outside and put it back into the womb, or one where you can actually pick an egg directly and insert a sperm through a, a, a mirror and put it back into the egg. Or you will actually uh, get uh, the gametes uh, and put them back into the tube, because failure to produce can be anywhere from lacking the eggs to the, 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 the tubes that carry them to the womb the failure in the womb and the failure in the male part, the sperm getting up. So that is what it does. Out of that, uh, a baby will be conceived and born. Now, the other things that then come with it, uh, where regulation becomes a very important issue, is uh, sometimes there is surrogacy, which means where the, the, the sperm and the egg have come from and then uh, from the embryo uh, comes from a one one person and is implanted into a different person, so a different mother. So that is surrogate motherhood. And a lot of legal issues that relate to that uh, and, and also religious issues that relate to that. The other one is the donation of either the sperm or the eggs, which may be donated by some somebody else again, that those have issues of the legality. Um, the third one, the, the, the third one is where uh, the sperm uh, stem cell research. Now, this is uh, pretty complex, and that's where you're coming with the genetic engineering. Uh, when you do the fertilization, the first cell that comes out can actually be manipulated uh, you can actually use them even to produce body organs, or you can use them for research uh, or manipulation of the genes. And that is a very critical point. Because you will have them when you have this process. I mean, they take the eggs and multiply and mix them with the, with, with the, with the sperms. There'll be a lot of uh, embryos that come. Are all of them going to be put in? What happens to the remaining one? Are they then? lives that should be protected. So if we don't have, uh, in my view, if we don't have a law, then you have opened all those areas. And uh, then you have the issues of what would be uh, criminally done, almost like trafficking, where mothers may be transported to go and get babies for others. And then the, 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 the parenthood becomes an issue or when you are getting uh, donor, donor eggs or donor sperms, people can uh, actually induce young people to get this, and it may be legal. Money may start exchanging hands in, in all this. So the, the issue is if we have a law uh, that regulates it, then all those can now be controlled. The other one is even later on, when the children grow, they may actually seek to know parenthood and paternity and motherhood, uh, even if it was. And, and people have tracked their sperm banks, uh, and, and, and pe people have wanted to know. And the issue: Are you going to open up? Because the sperm bank should know, must know where the sperm came from. And then, say a man was uh, in.
fertile, and then the sperm was donated, and now a child has been born. And say, this was maybe a student or a young person. And later on, this person can trace that actually my father was so and so. And maybe this person is now a very prominent person, a very rich person. What about the issue of inheritance? Do they now say, okay, you are my father, even if you donated it, but now uh, you are responsibility. So there are many, many issues that uh, this uh, bill uh, needs to address. And I think we can probably go more into it when we'll be going uh, clause by clause. And then we shall be able to uh, say what we can do about it. Thank you, Chair. Chair, actually, if you look at part three, it provides comprehensively about prohibited activities. And what uh, Dr. Nikan is talking about is uh, clause 27. For instance, talks about um, uh, a person shall not uh, store or use any garment, save as provided under the Act. And uh, one of which is under D, is a person is not allowed to mix human gametes with the live gametes of an, an animal. So for instance, right now there's no legislative framework. So it means without a legislative framework right now, if I took human gametes and mixed them with animal ones, I've not done anything wrong in Kenya as things stand. But uh, when you bring this law, it outlaws that. Because there's no legislative framework that is outlawing that right now. Now, I, I, actually, I just wanted to go to from where Dr. Nikana stopped was at the rights of parents, children, and children. Mm -hmm. That is on 28. Yeah. When you say when the, when the sperm of a man or any embryo, the creation of it was brought about with the sperm of the man was used after the death of the man. The man shall not be treated as the father of this child. Then there is unless the mother was married to the man at the time of the death of the man and assisted in productive processes is within five years of the death of the man. And then the man had considered to parental pa parentage and the artificial insulation is within five years of, of the man. Yeah. My, my, my question was now, how it is done? Maybe if the person is donating sperms. When they go, I think they are paid something. No. Well, maybe well, from the. Uh, if a woman uh, maybe from. A, maybe from the. Yes. Or the, or yeah. this process to happen. Yeah. You know, that's yes, I'm saying from that end. For yeah. somebody to get spams, and then the lady will go and uh, now receive the spam. Now, if those spams were stored and the man has died, and maybe the fertility had an agreement or find or had paid the man, if it's not. A lot of parents might be with a man and a wife, then that's a different case altogether. Or even in this case, it was even the man, then the, the, the man dies and five years are gone. And the wife is trying to still have children if it was not successful. Then how is it treated? I think that is the issue of the parents because it says here that the father, the, that, the person should not be treated as the father of the child. And then there's that, that now, unless. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chair, I think that is actually why it is before the committee, so that uh, you can advise for whichever you think is workable. Because what we have now is a legislative proposal, and if, it, if you think it makes sense, then you could give um, suggestions on how best it can be improved. Chair. Yes. I think uh, this legislation, we went through it in the last parliament, I think it's uh, what Honorable uh, Mimi is trying to do is to move with the times. Because for those of you who read the Bible, it's even written that uh, when your brother dies before having children, the Bible begets you to lay with your brother's wife to make children. The Bible? Yes. Yes, yes. See the Bible? The Bible? Yes. 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 The Old Testament. The Old Testament. Where? It actually, you know, it says if your brother dies before he has children, it obligates you to lay with your brother's wife and make children for him, for his inheritance. So the, so now I'm still coming. I'm still coming. And when you go, when you go to the traditional societies, and I'm sure they are still even in Kenya, some societies are, are still practicing this. There's, uh, they, they have, they found.
bila shaka mtazamaji ni kikao ambacho kinachoendelea hivi sasa kwenye kamati ya bunge kuhusiana na masuala ya afya hasa baada ya kuwasilishwa kwa mswada ambao nia yake kuu ni kuleta ama itakuwa inaangazia sana masuala ya afya teknolojia kisasa kwenye masuala ya afya ya uzazi na ni baadhi ya mambo ambayo yanaendelea kujadiliwa hivi sasa vile vile mtazamaji nataka ni kuarifu na taarifa nyingine ambayo